pro or war criminal, peacemaker, or the man who incited Palestinian violence, the world is actually divided over the legacy of former Israeli Prime Minister Ariel Sharon. CCTV's Nathan King looks back on a life that shaped modern Israel and the controversies that surround it. Ariel Sharon was a larger-than-life character. As a young activist, he held battle first for Israel's statehood, and then as a brilliant but controversial army officer, he helped secure victory over Arab armies in the wars that shaped the state. A picture of him wounded helped secure his iconic status in the young nation. He was a personal protege of David Ben-Gurion, the founder of the state. He was clearly a military hero for Israel for many years. Uh, for many Israelis, lionized for his role in the 1967 war, very pivotally in the 1973 war, but he was always a very controversial figure as well. As defense minister in 1982, as he directed Israeli campaigns in Lebanon, an investigation concluded he bore personal responsibility for the massacre of hundreds of Palestinian refugees, men, women and children, who were massacred by Lebanese militias. After being forced to resign, he became a champion of Israeli settlement building on Palestinian land. His nickname was the Bulldozer. A year before becoming Prime Minister in 2001, Sharon, along with a thousand Israeli policemen, controversially visited the Temple Mount in Jerusalem. It houses the Al-Aqsa Mosque and is the third most holy place in Islam and sacred to both Jews and Muslims. The visit helped spark Palestinian riots, which were met with clashes by the Israeli police and triggered the Second Intifada, or uprising. As Prime Minister, however, Sharon broke with his own party and unilaterally declared a withdrawal of Israeli forces and settlers from the Gaza Strip in 2005. He was widely believed to be planning a similar move on the West Bank before he became incapacitated by a stroke in 2006 at the height of his political power. To some extent, he's a, he's a Nixon going to China figure. The fact that he was so from the right throughout his career and was seen as such a strong figure on security gave him quite a lot of ability to maneuver. Since his devastating stroke, Sharon has been in a comatose state until kidney failure finally claimed his life. He was 85. Nathan King, CCTV, Washington.